we're doing uh, all kinds of uh, EME, Earth, Moon, Earth uh, experiments with our big dish, uh, the 25 meter dish in Dwingelo. Uh, Daniela de Paulis, an artist from et Italy, uh, asked us if it was possible to do movie via the moon. Well, I did some calculations and I found out that it might be possible, but we should need an even more bigger dish than our 25 meter dish. So I said to Daniela, well, is it also possible for your art work to do uh, still pictures, just images like photographs? And then she said, okay, that, that also would be very nice. And then we tried to do it with a slow scan television. The, the picture is sent line by line. We started experimenting with that. And at uh, December 6, 2009, we were able to do the first uh, QSO uh, via the moon on 23 centimeter in slow scan television. Well, and after that, it worked. And uh, we did a lot of uh, nice pictures and uh, nice shows. We're sending all kinds of pictures, children's drawings, famous paintings from old artists. Daniela normally goes to a place uh, like a museum or a theater, and there she addresses a lot of people. She tells how this all started. She makes a connection via the internet with us in Dwingelo, and then people from England or Brazil, or in this case Poland, will send those pictures to the moon. And then the result is presented uh, at the location where Daniela is. And sometimes she does it like this, that uh, people can have printed copies of those pictures. And then Daniela, uh, as being an artist, signs those pictures. And uh, people always love it. And uh, they are very surprised that it is possible to do pictures via the moon. I mean, it's 800 thousand kilometers 400 the moon is 400,000 kilometers away so it's it's an amazing distance that those uh, pictures have uh, traveled so that's uh, that's about what we do uh, we do our last event on the 28th and monday after that the work will start and only a few weeks later uh, the 25 meter dish in dwingelo will be lifted of its of its pedestal and put down on the ground and then they are going to remove all the old coating and all the corrosion and they, go, they are going to do repairs. It's a, a national monument. So because it has that monumental status, I we see. must do a restoration in the original way. Uh, the, the colors of the doors of the inside of the telescope remain not changed. That must be the same color again as it was in the old days. And then in November they will put it back. We need a few months to install all the electronic equipment and the motors and the radio and so on and so on. So we think we will be out of business for about one year. Yes, it's the first time for such a big renovation. Of course, they did small repairs and small maintenance, but this is the first time they are going to lift it again from its pedestal and put it on the ground.